Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, a few items in the news today. Uh, the first one is that the uh, King's coronation is taking place on May the 6th and they've chosen their dish of the day. I think this is hilarious. I mean, British people, we really don't celebrate food at all. But yet the royals have chosen their dish, which will be eaten at Buckingham Palace after the coronation. Uh, apparently the Queen's dish, when she was crowned in 1953, was coronation chicken. And they changed the name to French to make it sound more beautiful. But this time, for Charles and Camilla... They've chosen quiche. Dear quiche. Quiche with spinach. Oh no. Can you imagine that? Coming home from your coronation and you find quiche. Oh no, I wouldn't like that. Not very exciting. And it's quiche with spinach. Oh. I can just imagine the faces on them sitting around the table with those long teeth. You know what our royals all look like horses. You know, so, oh no, no, I I wouldn't like that at all. Apparently, Prince Andrew's wife, Sarah Ferguson, by mutual agreement, won't be attending. Oh, that's a surprise. Um, she uh, divorced Andrew, I think, or Andrew divorced her many years ago. So, very interesting. Yeah, very interesting. But, I mean, quiche. Oh, mm. No, I, I just couldn't. I mean, even if I was making quiche, it wouldn't have spinach in it. No, no, but I can just imagine them all sitting there with the hats and the gloves and looking miserable, you know, and the servants bringing a quiche over. And I'm sure there'll be white wine with that. Yeah, they, they love their, their drink, our royals, don't they? Yeah, so May the 6th, there's an event that I won't be attending. Uh, yeah, the coronation. Right, so other headlines in the UK. This is an interesting one. Um, our government are trying to force big tech companies uh, to take responsibility for the images of child abuse. Apparently, uh, social media companies like WhatsApp, Viber... Um, the, these these kind of messengers, and there's many of them, Signal's another one, uh, they're being, not blamed, but they're being asked to drop their encryption so that the government can monitor the movement of child abuse images. Uh, of course, the big tech companies have responded by saying, well, no, <laughs> it's unethical. We don't let governments into our systems. And uh, the government are trying to pass a law to force them. So these social media companies have said, well, if you force us, we are prepared to leave the UK. WhatsApp, Viber, Signal, uh, and many of the smaller ones have all said that they are now prepared to leave the UK if the government doesn't change its uh, opinion about this. So we'll see what happens with that. No doubt they'll have to do something. I mean, it's right that, of course, child abuse images are very bad. But as usual with our government, they're trying to point a finger to blame somebody else. I mean, there are some things very, very wrong with UK culture. But nobody wants to look at UK culture to see why. For example, Scotland is the drug death capital of Europe. Many, many people here die of alcoholism or loneliness, but nobody seems to want to deal with that. People just want to find a reason. Oh, it's your problem, big tech. Oh, well, actually, no. <laughs> the problem is the way that we live. Quiche. Can you imagine coming home from your coronation to eat quiche? Sorry, I just had to mention that again. Quiche. Oh, no. No, I just couldn't. The thought of it is making me ill. Um, moving on uh, to something else. Uh, did you know that one in four British people don't know how to cook any more than three dishes? 
Mm, interesting that, isn't it? Yeah, that's another news headline. Yeah, you see, we Brits, we don't celebrate food. Food is what we do uh, when we are not working. We enjoy being a little bit depressed. So anything with color, anything which heightens the emotions or sensations, if they're not artificial drugs, then we don't really want to know. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. And finally, uh, in news headlines today, uh, on Sunday, the government will test their new emergency alarm system. So be warned, if you have a UK telephone number, Sunday at three o'clock British time, the government's national emergency system will be tested. So that means your phone will flash up a message and will give a very loud bleep uh, for, I think it's 30 seconds. Oh, well, that'll kill my phone battery. Uh, even if your phone's on silent, they are using technology which will change it. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, so I want to switch my phone off before the government get to it. Although I'll probably have to deal with it when I switch it back on again. Um, what they haven't thought about, though, in all of this is we really don't care. I mean, with this announcement, people like me are thinking, oh, God, switch off my telephone then. I don't want Rishi Sunak's face popping up telling me that's an emergency. Although, thankfully, I think it's just a text message. But, uh, yeah, you see, they, they don't really understand that we really don't care. <laughs> they really need to come and talk to us or try to engage with us, not just uh, not just send me a text message, you know, to tell me that's an emergency, because most people here would ignore it anyway. Um, yeah, so, again, not really dealing with the bigger issue there, but just treating us like we're employees, and that's never a good thing, is it? So interesting to see where that goes. Uh, so that's the news headlines from today. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. This is actually recorded on the same day. So these news headlines are uh, of today. And uh, well, I better get moving, I suppose. I have to cook some dinner for tonight, go to the shops. Think about the government's emergency alarm. Yeah, buy some quiche. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, quiche. Oh, no, no. I can just imagine them sitting around the table with those teeth. I really have to stop thinking about that. It's very deeply upsetting. Right, that's it for me. See you. Bye.